It's common to receive a service request for a valve that won't shut down, is leaking, or won't properly activate from the controller. When you get that call, it's a good idea to have a new valve on hand in case you need to replace an obsolete model. In this video, we'll show you how to replace a valve that's not working or needs updating with a new Hunter PGV valve. Determining if a valve replacement is needed. The first step is assessing the valve's health so you can determine if it needs to be cut out and changed. Here are a few important things to consider. Does the valve look damaged or aged? Are the wire connections waterproof and still in good condition? Is it leaking into the valve box? If the valve is made of metal, is it corroded? Are repair parts readily available for this valve? If any of these criteria are in question, you'll need to talk with the property owner and let them know their options. Let's look at how to replace an older valve that appears to have a non-repairable issue with a new Hunter PGV valve. Cutting out an old valve. First, turn off the water to the system. If the valve is in the ground, you'll likely need to excavate the valve box to create enough space to work. If the valve is above ground, you may want to dig down to the fittings and use new pipe risers to install it. In either situation, you'll need to access a workable location that allows you to cut out the old valve. Note the direction of flow, main, valve, lateral, before cutting out the old valve. Look for an arrow on the valve body or the position of the solenoid. On most valves, the position of the solenoid will indicate the downstream lateral side of the valve. Make sure to check the ends of the pipe for debris before making connections. Next, consider how organized the pipe is and determine your options for using the existing pipe and fittings. If unions were used on the valve connections during the original installation, replacing the valve will be much easier. Prep the pipe by cleaning it off with an unsoiled rag. Remove old Teflon tape from any threaded fittings you plan to repurpose. Reapply new Teflon tape in the direction that the female fitting will thread onto the male fitting during installation of the new valve. Avoid using a thread sealant like Teflon paste as this may get into the new valve and cause problems. Installing a new valve. From this point, attach the valve using the proper PVC fittings, Teflon tape, primer, and fresh solvent weld cement. Note that the direction of flow arrow on the valve is correct. Note that the solenoid has been removed to make it easier to spin the valve onto the fitting. Take care not to get dirt in the solenoid port. Tip, use a piece of duct tape over the opening. Avoid over-tightening the threaded valve. It should be hand-tight. Use channel locks or a wrench with caution. Then cut back some of the old pipe to create new connections downstream of the valve. Next, prime and weld the fitting, keeping pressure on the fittings until the joints are set. Be sure to follow the manufacturer's guidelines on solvent welding PVC pipe and fittings.
rewiring the solenoid. Once the new valve is installed, cut out any old wire splices and cut back the wires in the valve pit until you see fresh, uncorroded wire. Strip back the wires. Using new waterproof wire connectors, connect the station control wire and common wire to the valve solenoid wires. Note that there are two multi-conductor cables in this valve box that indicate other valves along the main line. Connect the white common wires to one solenoid wire. The common wire connects all valves to the common C terminal on the controller. Trim exposed wire conductors to fit inside of the new waterproof connectors. After the recommended cement set time noted on the back of the can has passed, turn the water back on at the ball valve or point of connection valve, also known as the POC. Test the manual operation of the valve by turning the solenoid counterclockwise a quarter turn. Then use your Hunter Rome remote or smartphone to manually run the valve to test your wire connections and electrical valve operation. Replacing an old or obsolete valve can be a time saver for your customers and can also make a system more efficient and reliable. You never know what you're gonna be dealing with underground, so make sure you stock your vehicle with the tools and parts you need to get the job done. To learn more about our complete line of industry-leading valves for residential and commercial applications, visit HunterIndustries.com.